on a warm summer afternoon, and we're now, getting set for baseball from Oriole Park here in Baltimore. Today, Baltimore, it's game two of a three-game weekend set between the Cleveland Indians and the Baltimore Orioles. Orioles baseball coming up next. Nate Carnes is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Baltimore. What's your take on it? Stepping up now, James Newcomb. He'll lead things off here Leading in the bottom off. half of the Orioles, first. Orioles, the second baseman. James first Newcomb. pitch coming, here it is. Grounder down the line at third. Well, this is foul for the first strike. Oh, 01, here's the pitch. Left side. Dig, 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 get it up! And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Nice job, good work. Here's Alcides Escobar, the shortstop. Batting second, the shortstop. Alcides. He's ready, here's the 0-2 pitch. Offered at and missed, here's the throw. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now a moment here in Baltimore for the Orioles starting lineup. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? You know, Matt, a big part of the offense is Mark Trumbo. He's really excelled against right-handed pitching this season, hitting over 300 against them coming in. So given the matchup he's faced with here, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see him make some noise at the plate. Man, he's set. Here's the 2 2. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Batting looking four. back at his last start, up first he base racked base. up 9 Ks, Four. and now he's looking like he could put Four. up similar numbers in this one. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And VR will look this now batting, Bradley Zimmer right flied out in his first four. at bat, so make Bradley. him 0 for 1 so Zimmer. far. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Two. Put two, in play two, to two. the right side of the infield. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Indian. Striding into the box, now James Newcomb. He singled his last Yay. time up. Here comes the first pitch. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Oh, and one count and the pitch. And it's one and one. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' leadoff hitter. Now the 2-1 pitch is You're swung right. on and missed for strike number two. As a hitter, you know the pitcher's trying to work you down around the knees in a double play situation, so making him get a pitch up and actually in the zone is a must. Line toward right center. Dives, and he hangs on for the out. Wow. Plate, Jason Kipnis. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. Kipnis. Hit hard on the ground to second. Newcomb is right there. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So a runner at first with two away, and into bat next, it'll be Tyler Naquin. Tyler Naquin. Here now the 2-2. Two, two. Two, two, two. short. Escobar fields it cleanly. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Ready for another shot now, now James Newcomb. Basement. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Newcomb. Oh, that's foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Well hit to right, but a foul ball. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. 
Swing and a little blooper to center. In comes Naquin. He can't get there as it falls in. Man, he's seeing it like a beach ball right now. Even his soft contact is finding holes, Dan. He's making it nearly impossible for a pitcher right now. Up, down, in and out, hard, soft. Anything you throw forward to home plate, this guy seems to somehow be able to find the a batter, hole. Number one. Shortstop. Stepping into the box, Alcides Escobar. No Escobar. hits to this point. To second for one, but one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. So now Carlos Santana. Now He's batter. 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Carlos Santana. Nothing in two count and the pit. Two, two, two. Hit out towards second. Scooped up on the backhand. Escobar on the combo, but not quite in time as they'll just get the one. Digging in once again, the James Nuka. The second baseman. Yay. Nuka. First pitch on its way. Knuckle curve breaks outside for ball one. The 1 0 home. Liner toward right center. Catch made here in medium deep right center, and the runner's breaking from third. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at the deficit. Boy, this one looked like it was. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a the way to get it done, for and they should be very game. happy with this performance. And this ball game. Sunday afternoon baseball from Baltimore. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the Cleveland Indians and the Baltimore Orioles. The Indians attempt to break out the brooms in this three-game series right after this. Let's play ball. So stepping in, James Newcomb. It lead things off here in the Meeting bottom off. half of the For first. The Orioles, the second baseman, Jay Newcomb. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Gone! Well, his offense spotted him a run in the top of the inning, and he just gave it right back. That's what happens when you plant one in a hitter's wheelhouse. Send out of here. 
So striding forward now, James Newcomb. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. In that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Now the 1-0. Shot toward right center. Naquin is right there, one down. That's one of those tough luck outs that'll drive you crazy as a hitter. He drove that fastball but couldn't get it down, so he has to take hard contact as a consolation. Stepping in, James Newcomb. He'll get his side started in the inning, off. and Dan, Four so four four. far, they've been stifled the offensively base. since the first hey. inning. Boy, they sure have, that. They came out of the gates and got hot right away, but whatever was going for them pretty much just disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. One and oh, the count. Carrasco pauses. Here it is on 1-0. and oh. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Nick Wooden's under it. One out. Striding in for the Indians, now Carlos back. Santana. He got under one and popped Carlos. out his last time up. Santana. For a base hit here as he gets this one down. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Here's Leonis Martin. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Leone Martin. From the stretch, the one, two. One, one, one. Hit out towards second. Played on the backhand. Throw on to Trumbo will be in time, and the inning is over for the tribe as they're unable to add to their two to one lead the second baseman so the lineup flips over and digging in James Newcomb he flew out in his last at bat our pitchers duel continues here two to one scores would play the eighth Strike two, the Tribe leading by the slimmest of margins late in this one and trying to hang on and earn the series sweep. One of the keys if you want to sweep the team is you're going to have to get some big outs in that seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. They're leading by a run as we're going towards the end of this game. Now it's time for the pitching staff to put this one under wraps. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Good job there to slam the door for the win, and they finish the month with a bang just the way you the want to. Three to one, the final score this afternoon.